Hi boys and girls and listeners. This is Janie in her garden. Janie the storytelling garden granny. I write these stories myself and I project them in my garden. Hopefully the listeners will have enjoyment. This is a good one. It's a funny one and kind of terrifying for young boys. But it's going to be Janie with her pirate voice. This is a terrifying story of a pirate ship called the Sea Dragon. What's ailing all you mateys? Afraid to board my pirate ship? No scaredy cats allowed. This is a very dangerous trip. You don't like to pillage and plunder? You don't like pieces of eight? If gold don't make you smile, you don't want a pirate's fate. Other ships imagine me sailing the old fearless Dragon Sea. They are afraid of me ship's reputation. <laughs> and they're also afraid of me. <laughs> me Dragon Sea is me pirate ship that puts pirate ships to shame. Me Dragon Sea has a legend to live up to because she pillages for fame. The skull and crossbones flag high near the crow's nest is a testament for trouble, but the dragon sea flag is there for jest. You see a dragon's tail can calm the high seas and plunder ships alone. If you do tremble with pirate fears, your best place for you is home. Name here is Captain Longjaw. There's a wart in the end of my nose. I got one boot that is a bit bigger because me one foot has six toes. I have a terrible temper on my ship. Just don't get in me way. I do not shave, but I cut me beard, you know. Me knife is not for play. I give all the ship commands here. I'll put you where you can do me best. You will work hard all day long. It is possible on some nights to rest. Being the captain on me old pirate ship, the Sea Dragon and myself, we have an unusual forced friendship. <laughs> we both love boundless wealth. Yeah. You could be lucky and sail with me. You have to take that important oath. First you sign up for real hard work or walk the plank or both. Me trusty pirate ship is the home of a bunch of scroungy old sea dogs. We have sailed the seven seas together through dangerous storms and fogs. You can hear all that scuttlebutt. Those old salts will give you tests. They wish to see you eat a whale's egg and rescue birds in the high crow's nest. Well, you fix me a sea, sea biscuit for breakfast? <laughs> Those tricky old scallywags will ask. Your pirate belt buckle might tarnish if you perform all those idiot tasks. When you go a sailing on me pirate ship, you are no longer called a landlubber. Thar she blows when that voice is heard. Sea dogs will and you will eat whale blubber. The Sea Dragon is a crusty pirate ship, canvas white sails on top of high mass. Everything above deck is in order, below deck all pure water is in casks. The huge white sails are a bellowing, the Sea Dragon's rigging's just right. A terrifying storm is now a raging, even expected way into the night. Batten down the hatches, my excited yell. Everything can land right in the ocean. All heads should be below deck. Safety for all is the captain's first notion. 
tossing us between huge angry waves, we are deep into a terrifying storm. If and when we can ride this storm out, hopefully our pirate ship will see a new morn. Our old sea dragon made it, and hands on deck now offered up a cheer. The sky turned from black to blue. Even old sea dogs can have fear. We are all old, rusty, crusty pirates, beckoning for that sweet, juicy haul, hoping to gain riches to brag about. That for any pirate is a very important call. If we find no ships to plunder on the high seas right now, we will find other types of excitement to discover just where and how. So if my pirate story has excited you and you want to stay home instead, roll over now, have another dream, and please don't get out of bed. The end. Hope you liked my pirate story. Hope you liked my pirate voice, everyone, all the listeners. More next time from Granny Jenny, the Garden Granny. Bye-bye now.